Hey everyone, it's Chris here from Everyday Survival Gear and today we're in the garage, nice and safe from wind unless I decide to let some off. So in front of us we have the Nightcore Tup, Nightcore Tupperware, whichever you want to call it. The T-U-P, you know, it's T-U-P. So we got this Nightcore Tup for review. The light was actually sent to me by a company called uh, Flashlight Brands. They contacted me asking me if I wanted to do a, rev a, a review of a light. I was like, eh... I don't know, but then I took the light. Um, they seem to be like a new brand uh, that sells flashlights, and they actually sell like Nightcore, Phoenix, Lumen Top, and stuff. So it's pretty cool. Check them out. I'll leave a link in the in the description. Um, we've got in front of us the Nightcore Top, which is an ADC keychain style flashlight, and Nightcore calls it a revolutionary intelligent pocket light. So I don't know what the revolution is going to be, but let's get started. Revolting. So it's using a Cree XPL V6, here it is there, so I think this light is a little bit older now, but that's okay. A Cree XPL V6, uh, which is using optics, so you can see no reflector there, it's an optic style system. Um, the optics actually seem to be a pretty similar size to one that you'd use in a S2 Plus and whatnot. It's got a multifunctional OLED, which is pretty cool. I know it's kind of like a gimmick, but it is pretty cool. Uh, the OLED tells you the real-time display showing battery voltage, runtime, left, and lumens. Not sure how accurate it is, but I'm sure Nightcore done a pretty good job with it. Um, it's got a built-in 1200 milliamp hour battery, which charges via a USB micro on the side here. So you can see the port is covered, unlike the original Nightcore tip, which is not covered. Let me get my fat hands in there uh, it's a bit hard to get undone it actually sits in there very well so that's the USB port there um, it is actually IPX 54 rated which is quite surprising and drop resistant to one meter so that's pretty good so they could keep that and um, have the cover on there we'll turn the screen on so it flickers what else? So it's using uh, dual side switches, so they're mecha uh, electronic switches, not mechanical. Um, yeah, so one of the things I first saw when I, I first thought when I saw this was it'd be pretty easy to turn these on because uh, they are sticking up, they're not recessed in there, these buttons. But because they built this little barrier thing around here, is actually you can't turn them on. See, I can't change it unless I go like this, but. Like in your pocket and stuff, it should be pretty sweet, I guess. Um, it is using a high efficiency constant current driver. The max brightness of this light is a thousand lumens. Uh, Nightcore drivers are usually pretty damn good. Better than ones that I'm used to using, that's for sure. Uh, uses Nightcore advanced temperature regulation bullshit, their ATR. So um, it's going to step down, not by time by te temperature but it will also step down by time because of battery voltage and whatnot um it's also apparently got something called apc advanced power cutoff wow so hopefully it doesn't drain the battery to where you can't bloody charge it um hard anodizing type 3 it's got two lockout modes a half lockout where you can still access a thousand lumens i love lockout mode my current edc is this hunk of shit Astrolux, whatever the hell it's called, and like five times now I've gone to pick this up and it's been dead. Okay, so lockout mode on this light is pretty easy. When the light's on, push and hold to turn on. Uh, sorry, just push, and then we push and we hold like that, and that's got the padlock number two, and then you can see it's locked. It's not going to turn on. Fair enough. Like if you push and hold this down, does the OLED stay on and waste bad battery? Nah, turns itself off. Should be sweet. And then to unlock, quick push, then a long push, and it does that. Pretty cool. And actually, I wasn't going to talk about modes yet, but mode spacing on this light is pretty damn good, and it's pretty easy to use. So you push the power button to turn the light on, and you push the mode button to change mode. So that's a one lumen mode, so moonlight mode, a 15 lumen mode, and you got 65 lumens. So you got first you got your ultra low which is moonlight low this is medium 65 then you got your high 200 lumens and for turbo mode which is 1000 lumens you push and hold so pretty cool 
you can see it does have a little, little timer there and it will step down after a set amount of time but yeah what else is there to say um, that's pretty much it it's impact resistant to one meter and I already said it's IPX 54 rated um, and it is 70 ooh buddy come down 70 mils in length 29 mils at the front and uh, 26.2 mils at the back so to compare to another light that's got an OLED We'll have this little em emulent here. It is a pretty similar size, but I think the Nightcore has a uh, bigger battery in it. So, the Nightcore's only just slightly bigger. And the Nightcore OLED is much better. Let me just turn on the emulent. That's the OLED on the emulent. And this is the OLED on the Nightcore. It does look like it flickers. It's uh, Overall, build quality is great. Um, typical night core. The switch does seem a little bit flimsy because, you know, when you click it, you can hear that little sound. But it's not too bad. It does, like, kind of move around a, a little bit. The clip appears to be a nice stainless steel clip. Um, very strong and sturdy. You can also attach this to your hat. Um, it can attach to a keyring, a lanyard from around here, and you got your optics there, and... It's all pretty nicely fit and finished. Nothing is really out of place. This sits pretty flush, so it is pretty hard to get undone, but you shouldn't really catch it on too many things, I think. It should be pretty sweet like that, because it is pretty tight fitting. Yeah, that's pretty much all that there is to say. Now let's take it outside and compare it to a few other lights. Alright guys, so I've got the uh, Nightcore Tupperware on um, Moonlight Mode which is ultra low in their book, apparently one lumen, it is pretty damn bright I think it's only one lumen, let's look at this plants and stuff, we've got the plant there and we've got the cold white tint that's one thing that Nightcore doesn't do great is their tints we'll go back to the door, so yeah you should be pretty sweet to navigate around on this one lumen mode alrighty guys, now we've got the uh, Nightcore top on Apparently, low mode, 15 lumens. No way this is bloody 15 lumens. This is bright as. To put it into perspective, we're like 3 to 4 meters away from that cubby house. So, yeah. I don't think it's bloody 15 lumens. Alright, we'll go upper mode, which is supposed to be, I guess, medium mode. Uh, 65 lumens. It's already getting... Oh, <laughs> My thong just came off. It got caught on something. Um... That's not a G-string, that's like shoes, thongs. That's an Australian thong. Not an Australian G-banger. So, um, you can see all the way to the back fence. Um, yeah. What mode is this again? I forgot. 65 lumens. No way. That's brighter than 65. Because you can lighting up the whole backyard. Alright, we'll go to 200 lumens. And there we are there. 200 lumens. Throw it on this side. Bloody bright, eh? For 200 lumens. Could also be the optics, and we'll hit it to a thousand lumens, and there we go, a thousand lumens for one second. Now nah, it actually lasts like I think it's supposed to last a few minutes, but it won't step down for at least thirty seconds, apparently. So that's pretty good. So talking about that, there's one thousand lumens, apparently fifteen minutes, but it does step down. Um, and it's supposed to be good for 180 meters, 8,130 CD on this mode. So yeah, it is starting to get a little bit warm in my hand. It's actually a pretty good beam pattern o overall, using those optics. You can see it's pretty wide and also somewhat throwy. I just compared it to my BLF A6. And the uh, reflector, or well, the optic size, looks pretty similar, if not a little bit bigger. It might even be like a 22mm size optics in this uh, little Nightcore top. It's starting to get pretty warm now, so I think we should take it off turbo. Well, it does do a pretty good job. Not bad, huh? For a keychain light, it does really good. Well, actually, technically speaking, a few years ago I would have been really happy with a 1000 lumen light. So yeah. 
Okay guys, so we've got the Nightcore top on. Uh, one thing I didn't mention to you guys is from off mode you can push and hold to get onto turbo mode like straight away if it's not locked out, so that's a pretty cool feature. Um, and to the left here we have that little Immolent, I think it's what called a LD10. So Immolent here and Nightcore here. I can see the Nightcore starting to step down a little bit. We'll just leave on the Immolent for like 10 seconds. So that's the job that the Immolent does. Both cold white tints. The Immolent is a uh, XPL HI and the uh, Nightcore top is a XPL. XPL is a little bit brighter. You should be able to push this thing to 2000 lumens, 2200 if you were direct driving it. Okay, we'll turn off the Immolent. If I can find a switch, which I can't because they're a pain in the ass to find. And that's what the Nightcore does. Definitely a much wider beam on the Nightcore. As for tints, they're pretty much exactly the same. Brightness wise, I would rate the Nightcore a little bit brighter than the Immolent, which it should be because the Immolent's only rated to 800 lumens, I think. Okay, we'll do one more light and that should be it. Okay, because this thing is such a pain in the ass to turn on, I got the Astro Lux K1 on um, now, so this is on its highest mode. Let me just cycle modes. Uh, it's even got a blinky mode in there. Two, three, four. Should be one more. No. Sorry for the seizure, guys. Okay, that should be the highest mode there. This K1. Like, I went from carrying my Nightcore. Um, what is it? So, sorry, guys. This is the Astrolux to the left. And this is the Nightcore top to the right. Tupper. Tupperwary. So you can see, no comparison there, it outshines a K1 very easily. Yeah, so I went from carrying my Nightcore tip, that tip that I'd done a review on in 2016, and I thrashed the living shit out of that. They had like five different coats of paint on it, and, um, ooh, asteroid. Um, yeah, had like five different coats of paint. Like, there was a few times where it stopped working and stopped charging, and I had to pull it apart, the cover, and, like, reset it. It had, like, this thing where you could reset it by playing with the earth. Um, I've done that, like, a few times. So over, like, the four years that I carried it, it was bloody great. Like, the, it didn't even have a lockout, and there wasn't even, like, a time. Um, I've just got the uh, night call top on now. And there wasn't... Whoop, change modes. That's 200 lumen mode there. Yeah, it's getting pretty warm. Yeah, there wasn't even like a time where it didn't even really work. It was always good. But this Astrolux K1 is just crap. Anyway, guys, I'm just blabbering on now. So um, this has been the review of the Nightcore Top. Um, I hope you enjoyed the, the review. Overall, pretty cool, neat little light. T typical Nightcore qual quality. It is good quality. Um, it's got the OLED. The OLED's a bit of a gimmick. You don't really need it. But if you want to look cool in front of your friends, so it's pretty great. Um, and it is compact and EDC friendly. So as always, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe. And thanks for watching, guys.